So we're with teachers again, man. We're back again that like we never left. Yeah, yeah, you done me, now. Media shit, you know the vibes. Come on, man. If you don't know the vibes, then don't go outside. But any, <laughs> yeah, trust me. But, but but first, you know, let's go. Let's just talk, talk about shit that's been happening recently. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get well, into first it. First thing is today, T and nines in court. Shit, yeah, man. T Gams is looking at a big bird. So three T Gams, man. You know how it goes. Three T. Same three T. Yeah, yeah. How come? Oh, it's from the hood, man. Yes, I hear that. I hear that. Stop. I hear it. Come oh, on. I hear that. Stop. But what do you think? Because obviously, Nines, T Scam, they're very. They were doing their things, but Nines, were, especially, was doing his thing. And he, I would say he's a big good guy. He was, he was making a. I swear he was like top 10 or number one or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nines, Nines has been jail. about from time, man. Obviously, I grew up on Nines, innit? Nines is hard, cuz. So big up Nines, though. But why do you think, like, you see a lot of rappers, just rappers. Get success, then go back to jail. And it's so easy for them to be going back to jail. <sighs> Bro, do you know what it is? Because, yeah, they get stuck up into that lifestyle again, innit? It's like, they try to avoid that lifestyle back in the day, and then they just get caught back up into it so easy, bro. Because, for example, like, Nines, I think he, his thing was something to do with, like, drug trafficking or, like, mm. cannabis or some shit. I was like, he's already making enough money from this music shit. So I was like, why is there a need for you to still be doing this? Yeah. yeah no 100 man if you obviously if you're doing well in the music and you're making enough revenue of it because i don't understand why you should go back to that life you get me if you've got the the shit there you get me so yeah man i don't understand why you should have to go back to that but people obviously slip into the cracks again you get me I hear it, man. But what's your thoughts on the female rap scene the female rap scene uh it's, it's all right, man. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say oh, bare hella females are hard, but there's a couple that I could name like Re Muni, T Zandos, uh, who else? There's a uh, do you know Lord Len from uh America? Lord Len, have you ever heard of her? I uh, know, but obviously, she's American still. Yeah, yeah, she's hard still. I, feel, I might be pronouncing it wrong, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Lord Len in it. But she's some crazy ass new ra- uh, New York rapper in it, drill thing. But yeah, she's hard. But that's the only three I can really think of right now still. Okay, okay, okay. So why do you feel like the female scene ain't really doing what's. It? How come you think their scene isn't as big compared to like America? What? The female scene. What, in terms of America? Yeah, how come it's. The UK okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So what it is, yeah, that you gotta think we looked up to America back in the day from early in it. I'm talking like Joe Black, Pedalback Diaries days and all that shit. We was looking up to the American crowd, in it. So it's more like they had it all way before us. Wherever we have now, they had fucking ten years ago, bro, and all that. You know what I mean? They had that way before us. So they're way more advanced in terms of technology, in terms of visuals, in terms of Directors, cameras, everything, bro. Yeah, they they're just way more advanced than all of us in it. And plus, there's I uh, had to put it. There's more management and everything in terms of so on and so on out there because uh, of all the big rappers that came out. They understand they got big management like what Death Row Records, all that stuff. And you know what I'm saying? Up from there, so yeah, yeah my boy. Um, cool. Is the UK bad vibes though? Huh? The UK bad vibes. Bad vibes? Yeah. Nah, no, G, Every man. say the UK's bad vibes. Uh, whoever saying that, they're chatting worse, bro. Nah, a lot of people be saying that. They're chatting worse. <laughs> people be hating <laughs> on each other here. Nah, yeah. man. You know I mean, people be hating on each other. But that's just London for you, man. Everyone's snaky, man. You know what I mean? I go fly out to, uh, to Ireland and shit, bro. It's just nothing but love, you get me? There's no one snaking each other out there, bro. But, yeah, but obviously Everyone's Ireland's blue. a whole different country, isn't it? That's, that's what I'm trying UK. to say to you. This whole thing in the UK is a snaky vibe, fam. Okay. Everyone's snaking each other left, right and centre, bro. There's no loyalty here, bro. Mm-hmm. So you fly out to somewhere else and you'll, you'll, trust me, you'll learn about loyalty. Trust me. Mm-hmm. You'll learn about it real quick. So what's the difference between like the UK and Ireland? So it's a big difference, man. A whole big difference. What's the but difference? Though? Just in terms of loyalty and respect, then you get it out there, bro. Like in terms of your fans, they're they're down for you, they ride for you. In terms of like your brethren that out there, they ride for you. Cause over here, bro, you can't trust no one, bro. Mm. You get? I'll be real. I hear it, man. What's new with the music shit, too, man? What's new with the music? 
Hey, boy, I've been doing bits, bro. I can't lie to you. Me and Wide Chiz been doing bits, but shout out Wide Chiz. Shout out Wide Chiz, man. You know it goes, but myself, more time, I've just been dropping videos after videos, man. I dropped uh, something called Lost and Found. It's a movie. Hey, that thing's there. It's just serious, man. You need to go look that up. That's on uh, Sleep Well Productions. Uh, and done a thing called Let Me Explain. That one's on the MTG Media. That one's there's another movie. Uh, what else? Somebody Like You. That's on MTG Media again. What else did I drop? I don't even know, man. I can't even keep up with the amount of shit I've been dropping, bro. What's the goal still for like, the rest of the year? It goes, man. I'm just trying to, just trying to levitate, bro, and just trying to get myself up and up and up. You get me? Like, I'm not expecting to blow this year, next year, but when I do blow, it's my time, in it. But I'm just trying to levitate each time, bro. Exactly. For real, for real. I hear it, though. I hear Come it. Come on, man. I'm just can you keep it scaring? But when's the tune with you and Ink coming, though? Say hey, what the tune? Yeah, when's the team coming with you and Inks? Hey, we already got one out there, innit? Like, okay. there, there's one featuring, obviously, Ink and uh, 86 Baby. That one's there called What's the Story, innit? So you'll find that on Spotify and Apple Music and yeah, all them things that's there. That's out now? Yeah, that's out now, man. So go stream that up. I'm going to have to do my homework on that. Yeah, serious, bro. But yeah, man, that thing's there. But uh music video for that uh, is, is loading, man. Loading, loading, loading. But we got more things than that, man. We're trying to... Just do something else, man. Cause where Jules dying now, man. Like, it's completely ju- just dying, bro. I'm just trying to. We're all trying to. Huh? What makes you say that, that the Jules is dying, bro? I'll be real, man. Like it's just getting dead, fam. Like it's just no one. Like, right, cool. You, you wouldn't wake up. Why? Right, cool. Tell me this. Would you wake up in the morning and go slap a Jules tune on first thing in the morning? What okay. would you slap on? It depends on my mood. I can't lie. <laughs> what you say? If you're feeling crazy and angry, you're gonna slap on a Jules tune. Yeah, right. I can't lie. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're a tap cheap, so. bro. <laughs> you're a tap cheap. Like, no, seriously, man. Like, people wouldn't wake up in the morning, yeah. Even if they're in a bad mood, I'm guessing they're gonna want to listen to something vibey in it and something like a house tune to get them more in a energized mood, not something to get them more angry. Do you understand? So you're just gonna get yourself more mad listening to a Joe tune, bro. Be real, like, there's no point. Depends on what I'm mad about, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm being dead serious though. Depends what I'm mad about, yeah, I'm mad, no, bro. I hear you, man. I hear you. I hear you. Mm. Yeah, man. But as I was saying, Jules dying. It's just no one listens to it no more, bro. It's just dead, bro. Look on press play and all that. I'm not drawing up press play. Big up press play, Danny and all that. But their channel right now is not doing so well at the minute, cause in terms of views, because Joe is just everyone is doing Joe, bro. Every single new kid on the block. Yeah, even his friend, his friend, his friend, they're all trying to do drill. Just doesn't make sense, bro. It's like mocking the music scene, bro. What can be done to improve that the UK drill scene, Dan? Nothing, bro. You think it's it's done, it's over. It's it. done, yeah. It's over. It. No reviving. It. <laughs> There's no reviving this guy. There's no cod. It's not cod, bro. Hear what I'm saying, though, yeah? Right now in Ireland, because what, what me and the 86 lot are trying to do right now, yeah? It's that. We're trying to do something different, innit? We're trying to do something big right now because, like, we're trying to change the music scene in terms of the old school, like, you know, that West Coast type rap shit. Do you remember that type stuff, yeah? yeah? We're trying to bring back that stuff, real rap thing. You get me? Gangster rap. Gangster rap and real rap. We're trying to bring that back. Not all this jolly shit and all that. Something people listen to on a day to day basis, innit? I mean. I, I, I feel you. So yeah, what, like, what do you think is more popping right now though The Irish scene or the UK scene <sighs> Obviously the UK scene isn't it? Obviously the UK has got more platforms More this that You know what I mean Ireland's hardly got any big platforms You know what I'm saying But um, Yeah obviously the UK scene by far But the Irish, the Irish scene seem to take over, fam. And there's only one Irish, Irish group in Ireland, fam, and that's eight six. You no, get cause me? Because obviously, because obviously, like, every now and then, not as so much as I used to, but I used to listen to a bit of Irish Joe here and there. Uh, but I'll say there's some other. Obviously, shout out eight six every time. Come on. But like some other man that I think are doing their thing. <laughs> AV9 <laughs> A92 Yeah, AV9 Cool, but Not A92 bro. What's wrong What's wrong with A92, bro? <laughs> <Whatever>. Officer 
Bro, he's actually hard. He's actually cold, he's actually cold slow. Uh, let me just say, sir. Uh, say what you gotta say, bro. Officer, yo, puss, yo. You're not a nut, cuz. You're a nerd. Let me just tell you that now for a fact. You and a dad to a nut, bro. But yeah, let me get back to question, bro. Let me just get back to question, did it? But that's what I have to say about them, man, and it? Them out there wet. Because obviously they've had the biggest success in Ireland, I'll say. A nine two K. Saying that and I hear that. Yeah. <laughs> Simple, bro. Okay, but because obviously I don't wanna, I don't want to make it have this conversation be about that type of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, yeah, yeah. I do want to ask that. Like, what's what's your angle with them? That what's up the situation? Why are you saying? Why, why you saying all of that? Because them man try, like, them man on some mad phony shit, because, like, them man are meant to be from Ireland, but they're not sticking to their accent, and they're just on some phony shit, bro. They're not about this life, and they're not, they don't live it, you understand? It's just a bunch of phony little kids, bro. But the most important thing, they don't stick to their accent, innit? Mm. They just don't, like, they just, they're meant to be from Ireland, but they're trying to use the English thing, the, the London thing, the slang, the everything, but they, they're from Ireland. Look at Ink, for example. Yeah, he sticks to his accent, sticks to his culture, keeps it one hundred. Mm. Not gonna say my man's name, little fella in the orange mask, but yeah, my man don't stick to nothing. He don't stick to his culture. He don't stick to his accent. It's just, uh, well, yeah. see, I hear a lot of people be talking about some of these Irish rappers. I'm not even talking about that. That man specifically, but just generally, and I do feel like maybe because I've never been to Ireland before, but it's like I don't think everyone has that strong Irish accent, though. I doubt everyone has that in Ireland. It, <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> I mean, everyone have that like. Come to Ireland, bro. You'll see, man. You'll see. Everyone's got the Irish accent, bro. Okay, so everyone. What you're trying to say is that they're, they're kind of like watering down their accents. Exactly that, bro. Okay. Exactly that. But same way, I was hearing back in the day, like rappers in this country used to rap it in an American accent, and that. So maybe it's just like a transition or something. Name me one, like, name me one rapper that's rapping. That's in what in I was hearing in it back in the day. Apparently. Oh yeah, back. back I right, listen. Day. I could let that back. What for? Twenty years ago, bro. Twenty years ago, that's when people were using the American accent because we watched the American scenes. You get it? That's all we had was the American scene. So that's all we knew was the American scene. So we're thinking, raw, that's the way to rap. Do you understand? So of course we're gonna copy it, but then you're gonna turn it into your own style. You're gonna realize, raw, I can rap. Let me try and do it in the English accent. Do you know what I mean? You're gonna stick to your da 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 and just boom, the English scene evolved. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, man. Are you looking to ever like live in Ireland? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm always over in Ireland all the time, innit? So I'm hardly here anymore. So, yeah. It's due to happen still. Yeah, yeah. For one day, man, one day, man. Because I was even thinking about going to Ireland one time, you know. Cuz come bro You're gonna love it I'm telling you now man But if I go Ireland bro I'm I'm going everywhere bro I'm going to I'm trying to do Bear work bro Bear interview I hear you man Every side Yeah yeah Everywhere yeah. bro I hear you man Do you ever see that like, The UK and Irish scene Ever like Merging to an extent Cause obviously We're local It's just a, It's just a trip Across the water mm. so it's like, Do you ever see like A cross A good crossover Between both countries What US and, and no, not uh, UK and Ireland. Oh, a big crossover, yeah, hundred percent, bro, hundred percent, million percent, man. But it's just the uh, the right link up needs to happen, isn't it? To get, I feel that, I feel that. Cause I'm trying to think. The last link up I see between Ireland and the UK was Big Chucks and some guy, someone from Silver Nation. It was a hard song though. It was a, it was a banger. Oh, yeah. it was a banger. Um, no, I don't think so. I think it was the who was it? Chucks and who? Chucks and some. I forgot the guy's name, but he's from Silver Nation. Okay. Um, 
No, I don't think weren't it the Russ thing and uh oh, no, the, that, oh yeah and Rush and JBT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah when yeah, it that thing that, that lifted off chaps as well. Yeah, that lifted off still. Yeah, that, that was a banger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I I was JBT's from the UK though, originally at least. No, I don't think uh, so. Because I remember, so I remember watching some thing, some documentary, and like he met fucking Chucky in in a barber shop in East London. Oh shit! I think I see a video about that still. And that he's from that. Like, I think he was just living over there or some shit. Yeah, he was know. just living over there. That's all he was doing. I think he moved over from there to there, and then just started living over here. I don't think he's originally from here. Okay. Yeah. I don't even. Know. I might be wrong, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not even hundred percent sure myself, my guy. But yeah, man. But yeah, man. When's the next thing? With, like, you know, like shout eight, eight, eight six and all them, man, bro. But, uh, what What are you saying? What are they saying? See what they're saying. Yeah, see what they're saying, bro. All right, saying, man. Bro. Let's give them on a call. Cool. See what they're saying, man. All right, team. Man. What's the story, bro? What's the story, my guy? Is that Robo? Yeah. Yeah, man. What are you saying, bro? You good? Yeah, we're good, my guy. We're just on live right now on the uh, on the podcast, bro. So chat to them, my guy. What's up, nice What are you saying? What's happening? How's everyone keeping on good? Yeah, everyone's good. Yeah, everyone's good. Yeah, good. Yeah, everyone's good. Yeah, everyone's good. Yeah, just chilling out, man. Taking it easy. Taking it easy. That's it, boys. All right, boys. What we got planned for the next couple of months, man? Um, there's a lot on man there's a lot on there there's bigger things happen now anyway bigger things happen especially yeah this year man this year is gonna be good trust me man this year is gonna be good trust me you don't really you don't really gonna 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 there's going to be a few things happening this year, so... Yeah, yeah. Gamo. What are you saying? Gamo, chat to them, man. What's the story, man? Nah, man, what we got? What are you got? saying? What you have been talking about there, bro? It's just been chatting about a couple of topics and what's been going on recently, man. You get it? So, uh... Yeah, yeah no, no, you've been telling me what's going on this year, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I thought I'd just uh, be passed on to what's going on to us a lot this year. You get me? I thought we got big things this year with the 86 gang load in. You get me? So. Yeah, bro, it's all loud. You get me? So, big yeah, man. It's going to be a big switch up this year, man. No one's going to explain this, bro. Trust me, man. I'm not ready, bro. Big things coming this year, bro. Yup. 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 What we say, Nick? Nah, I'm out, gang. When you when you come into the UK, though, that's a real question. We should be over there in the next week or two, to be honest, bro. Well, say no, say no, no man. Hit me up, man. Hit me up when you come when you land, literally. 100%, yeah, hundred percent, bro. We're gonna come true, bro. Definitely, 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 hundred percent, man. man. Yeah, we there, bro. We there. So oh. big things coming with us, lot, man. So you know what it is, what it is. It's going, man. We loading. Twenty twenty four. Stay tuned. Stay tuned, bro. Stay tuned, yes. man. Stay tuned, yeah. man. Twenty twenty four. Stay calm. Yes, Abe. Tell facts, him, facts, baby. Facts. Tell him, baby. Hey, come that man. <laughs> yeah, they can't see you, bro. You're all good, man. But listen, boys, I'm gonna give you a shout back after the interview, man. It's all love, though, yeah. Yeah, bro. Shout out to love. What the time, fam? Love, boys. Love, boys. That for that for. Yeah, man. Shout out to eight six gang with the time, eight, man. Eight six, man. Nah, it eight, goes. Six. Come on. But what, like, oof. Do you see? Is there anyone else in Ireland that that you're looking to collab with as well? <sighs> Um, in terms of eight six baby and outside Inc, of eight six, outside of eight six, yeah, Ugh, it's a hard one, man. 
Do you know what? There's only one rapper I actually find hard in it, apart from 86 in it. He's one dude, he's called AC130 in it. Oh, yeah, yeah. My the, the funny ass mask. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's got it's the cross. He's got the cross in the middle of his head. Have you yeah, seen yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Big up my man. I think he's hard still in it. Like, I think he's hard still. So yeah, apart from 86, I'll probably collab with him in it. Other than that, nah, no one to be honest. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't mess with anyone else, man. Apart from the it's this gang, man. Hair, man, hair. You know what I'm saying there's no one harder, bro. I can't, I can't. I'm just saying, not because they're obviously not my team, bro. It's just like, there's no one harder, bro. I hear it so hard. From what I know, they're the first to do to do the Irish Joe thing. So, go, bro. Inks the Inks the Godfather of Irish Joe, bro. He started it. You know what I mean, he's on verse. He's on. He's on all of that. The thing with Chucky and yeah, I, I remember that. You know what I mean, so yeah, man. No, Trust me, definitely, broski. I appreciate you for coming down. Come on, man. man. All the time. Wow, let's get it.